Hey guys, thanks so much for watching and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing how to get your nails looking like this from home, true full dip powder, literally from your bedroom and it's super easy and super affordable. So before we get into it, just make sure you go below and click the subscribe button if you are new here and let's go ahead and get started. So you're going to need to start out with a little bit of nail care. So I have two buffers, a nail file. This is a very important thing right here. Something to push your cuticles down with. I'll get more into that later. A brush to brush off the rest of the powder that is not on your actual nail. And this is actually not necessary. It's a pH bond um, that I use when I'm doing my gel nails. So not necessary, but I do like it. This is the exact kit that I used. I got it from Amazon for only like $33, I believe, and it has everything in it. It's got something that can help clean the brushes from the glue. It's got a base coat that you're gonna use first and, well, most, then a white powder that you'll dip your nails in first. It does come with three colors. I wish they were like named or numbered or something so I could tell you which one I have, but really it's just like a lighter pink to a darker pink. Then you've got the activator, and then finally, the gel top, which you will use very last on your nails. Now, since I'm not an expert, I don't know how the dip powder will kind of affect my jewelry. So anything that has a stone in it, ring-wise, I would just go ahead and take off, just in case. I mean, you're not going to be dipping your, like, whole finger into the dip powder, but you just never know. So take off any very special jewelry, and then start out with clean, fresh nails, nothing on them, and push all of the cuticles down. This is very important that you get those completely pushed down, because if you get any of the nail polish or powder on them, it's actually very painful. Like, they kind of rip your cuticles. So push them down as far as possible. And then I did shape my nails before I actually started filming this video, so I did just want to show you guys, like, you have to shape your nails with a nail file first, but you can go back and kind of help it a little bit later if you have some odd nail shapes. So this is the pH bond. It is important to have your nails completely dried out and free of everything, which is why I use this. Um, like I said, I use it with my gel nail polish when I do it. And so I just decided that I wanted to use it for powder as well because it really is gonna dehydrate that nail and make sure that it's got like a clean base and it's like ready to go for the dip powder. So you're gonna start out with the base. Like I said, you'll use that first and most. So you'll take a base coat and you will apply it very lightly. And you'll see me go very slow here, like almost a little bit too slow um, with the nail polish. And I go finger by finger. So I'll paint one nail with the nail polish, dip it in the white powder. Paint another nail with the nail polish, dip it in the white powder. Now the white powder is almost like clear when it's actually on, you can see. You just dip it in and tap it. And it doesn't really have a color, but it does kind of just give your nail a thick base to start before you put any color on. Um, you only have to do this one time. And like I said, I mean, it comes off very clear and just go one by one, dip your finger in, tap it off so you get off any excess powder. That is a very important step. Um, and then, I mean, really, you just gotta repeat the process on your whole hand. And it is actually easier to do one whole hand from start to finish than it is to do like both hands with the base and the powder and then the color and then the, it's just, it's way easier to do it one hand at a time. So now I have changed out the white powder and you can see I have that pink color sitting right there. So you're gonna take the exact same base, very thin layer of nail polish all over, take your finger, dip it ever so quickly and lightly into the powder, tap off any excess, and then get moving on the next nail. Now I do leave the powder on my hand just for some time, just to make sure that the nail dries completely. It's not gonna hurt you, it's not gonna burn or anything. And that is what that brush is for that I talked about in the very beginning, you'll brush that off later. But just let your nail kind of sit and let that nail polish dry. It does dry quickly, but you just wanna make sure before you really do anything extra. So again, dip, tap, and then just wait. That's really just kind of how this whole monotonous process goes when you are doing your dip nails from home. Okay, so I'm showing you a close-up of my nails here. You can see that there's like a little nick right there um, on my pinky nail, and I will end up getting a few more before the video is over. 
that is perfectly okay. We'll talk about that in just a minute. You can kind of fix it once um, you have those, so don't panic. And then I do go ahead before I start my second coat of powder and just brush off any excess just to make sure that like there's nothing caked up. The instructions do say to dip your nails like a full three times with color. I think that is way excessive. My nails are very thick after two coats of color and then that one coat of the clear in the beginning. So I only do it twice. And then the second time you really just are making sure that there's no gaps or see-through parts. It's a lot easier to do it two times. I wouldn't recommend doing it once just because it really does get that full colorful effect. But like I said, just don't do it three times. That is a lot. Next up, you're gonna take the activator. This dries very quickly. It doesn't even really feel like a polish. It feels very similar to the pH bond. Um, this is just really gonna dry out any powder that is left over and wet. And then after you do the activator, you can go in and completely file and shape your nails. So remember how I showed you earlier, my pinky nail had a little bit of a nick in it. This is where you're going to be able to really get those out. You need to do this even if you don't have any nicks or problems with your nails just because it does smooth it out a little bit and you can see right there, that is what, I had three nails that were messed up. They had nicks in them, little bumps, and after I spent some time buffing them, this is what the result was when they were finished and that looks great. The actual product is going to last at least two weeks if you do all of these steps correctly and like you shape the nail and it, you know it's not all over your hands. Then finally, you'll take the gel top. Now this does dry extremely quickly, but it dries so shiny and I love it. So you kind of have to work a little bit fast when you're using this. You just apply a thin coat, wait about two minutes, and then you go back and do one more coat and then that hand is completely finished. You don't have to cure it under a light. You don't have to wipe it off with anything after you're done. This is literally the last step and the nails are so freaking shiny when they are done. Like I filmed this video four or five days ago and my nails still look as shiny now as they do right here. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope that it was informative and that you learned that you can seriously get a salon type manicure at home. And like I said, the whole kit was like $33, which is what it cost to get this done once at the salon. So everything will be linked in the description bar below. Again, thank you guys so much. I love you guys. Make sure to go below and click the subscribe button if you are new here. And I hope that I see you in my next video.